everybody. Welcome to the industry. Happy Friday. I am so excited to be here today, especially because this is a special edition of the industry this week and next week. I'm basically calling it that the collective is taking over the industry. If you don't know what the collective is, the collective is my year long membership to all of my programs, all of my master classes, and it's a really incredible community. So if you're on here right now from the collective, let us know in the chat. I'm going to bring up um, on my, oh, I see Lorna is here. Hello, everyone. If you're in the collective, um, drop in the comments and say that you're joining us live. Um, right now, for some context, what we have happening in the collective is the first ever annual collective festival. So April actually represents the anniversary of the collective. This year is the two-year anniversary inside of the collective. And our my intention for this year and my intention going forward within the collective, besides just sharing all the value and the courses and the programs and all the things, is really leveling up the community aspect. And so this year, I had this idea to do a collective only experience for collective members only. And we're on day three of this festival that is really about exclusive trainings inside of the collective, building community, and me being able to go deeper with collective members to coach them in all special coaching calls. And today, the event inside of the festival is here live with you guys. And I have three amazing collective members with me today, and um, they're going to be able to share their experience, who they are. Um, it's really fun because all the different people who are here with me are kind of at different points of their journey in the collective. So it, it's going to be really cool to hear um, everybody's experience. So how do I even introduce these ladies? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, introduce each one of these ladies individually and kind of dive into what I want to talk to them about. So I'm going to dive right in and put your Shani on a little bit of the spotlight. Um, this incredible human, I believe it's just maybe around eight months, not quite a year in the collective. It was summer of last year. Yes. Yes. And the thing that I want to share or I want to introduce um, to the community and to you is one of the things that I, I, you guys, I remember everything. And when I say I remember everything, I remember everything. And I remember <laughs> the day when you signed up, it, it was like a Sunday morning in, in my world. I don't know what time it was for you, but it was a Sunday. And I'll never forget this. You messaged and then you just signed up really quickly. And part of your story, and I believe you said this in the video, was like something like you found me and within two days you were in the collective. And I wanted to talk about this because we often talk about this in the online space of like, oh, when, when you find someone really quickly and you know like you want to hire them or you want to be in their world, I would love for you to just share with the community your experience of what that felt like to, to find someone and right away it was like, wow, I want to learn from them, but also what it's actually like, maybe the thought process to be like, I'm just going to hire this person for a year. I'm just like, like, and even though we're the kind of people who are like, we're going to invest in ourselves and we lead ourselves in all these things. Sometimes there's still like, holy crap, what am I doing? What if, what if this is completely wrong? What if this, this is a bad investment? So I know in our community and on the industry a lot, we talk about courage and investments. And so I think it'd be really powerful if you wanted to just walk people through that experience. Yes. Well, first of all, thank you for having me. I feel so honored. And um, yes, I found you. And after I think two days, I signed up and it was my first ever big investment that I made in myself so for me it was like it was it was strange because I never experienced a big investment like that ever so I coached myself also through the investment that was also new for me it, I really gained inner power by coaching myself through the investment and the reason why I chose to invest in you was because I, I just could feel the energy. And to me, energy is very important. And when I came on your page, I was like, okay, this is different. I, I haven't seen this before and I haven't felt this before. And it felt huge. And at the same time, it also felt safe. And I don't know, it's just, it's just a feeling that you have in your body. Like my whole body 
tingled. It was like, oh my God, it was buzzing. And I was like, oh my God, I need to learn from this woman. I need to learn from, and you also used words that really got to me. You, you, you use words like the universe, but you were also, I can, I could feel that you were like, I don't know if, if I'm saying this right, but a little bit spiritual, but also like really owning the money stuff. And that was something for me that I could really recognize myself in because I love to make money. I love to talk about money, but I'm also very spiritual. And I also use some type of words like energy and universe and, and you did it also. So it was really like, you really connected with me on that. And um, after I invested in you, I, I remember that I was really scared because I was like, oh my God, what have I done? <laughs> and um and then after that, like I went from a 5K month to a 20K month in like a couple of days. It was, it was amazing. And then something really like landed for me, like you need to invest when you're shit scared and you need to do it when you know you need to do it. And then, then, then shit will happen. You know, it, it, I, I love, I love magic this. will be yeah. created in your business. You know, it's like a fine line. I, I think about this a lot because it's like, we talk about, well, I talk about, you guys know this like courage and like following your intuition, right? You're like, I just felt it. It felt right in my body. It was just like, like there was a feeling that's almost so hard to describe. And it's so interesting because it's like, to me, it's like a fine line of like following our intuition, which is often so hard to comprehend, but also that that moment of like okay i trust myself i'm going to be okay i'm i'm going to invest like that piece of trust but also that piece of like this is a risk and this is kind of crazy i just kind of met this person 2 days ago and all of a sudden but this is the power of like we have to be able to be the the kind of people not just investing but we're all entrepreneurs right building a business and there's going to be risk and there's going to be times where we make more calculated moves and there's going to be times where we f really follow that feeling and so i love that's why i wanted to for you to share that experience and thank you because it's like even though it's like a full body yes sometimes it's like this is freaking crazy but then you just do it you trust that feeling and I remember like you're here for a reason, but like so many times in the collective, you you would like message me and share like, holy crap, this big takeaway, this big thing, this is happening. Like, I'm so happy that I followed that feeling. And then all of a sudden it's like things start to happen. You're 5K to a 20K month right away. So I, I love this. Um, mm -hmm. One of the things that you mentioned in the video that you made is the biggest takeaway or breakthrough that you've had for yourself is holding the energy and I get so I have a few master classes around hold the energy that's like a big favorite in our world and so I would just love if you wanted to share like your interpretation of hold the energy and what's that meant for you throughout your journey in your life and your business since you've dove into those trainings yes um before I couldn't like hold the energy energy in a sales call or I couldn't sell something to someone and then stay neutral or stay calm and when you said hold the energy it really like meant a lot for me because I suddenly I could see that when you are selling it's not your job to step into someone's mind or step into someone's energy you just have to keep the energy with yourself and just like carry people, hold the other the other person that you're selling to and just be a safe space for that person and let the other decide if he or she wants to buy something from you. And that attitude that really like helped me step into my leadership more. And I don't know, it just, it just something just shifted there when you said that. It was really like a very big change for me. Yeah, I love that. And when I think about that too, it's like this kind of thing of like holding our energy, holding our power and the way that you just described it there is almost like I interpreted it as like a lean back confidence of like, I'm just here presenting and like let people choose and, and lead themselves. And I think that's one of the biggest things that we always have to work on as leaders in this space is like holding our power, our confidence and just letting people do what they're going to do and not letting people outside of us like sway our certainty and that obviously is with selling interacting sales calls anything so I absolutely yeah. I love this 
so much. Yeah, and okay. I also discovered that it's very important to uh, really love your own offer. If you if you're really in love with what you're selling, then you can hold the energy. Like it's just obvious that you're holding the energy because if this person wants to step into your world, it's a win for them, right? So holding the energy is just obvious that you do it. So being in love with your own offer. And, and what you can offer the other person is also very, very important. And that's also a thing that I learned from you. And I'm so thankful for that. So happy. I just feel like this work is like just ongoing embodiment and ongoing deepening our own confidence and self-trust. It's it's complete inner game. And, and I think it's like, it's so cool to witness like in general, like people, you know, when diving into trainings or whatever and how things land, but how the same for example, the same masterclass can evolve with you over eight months a year in the collective because it can mean something different every time that you listen to it or think about that teaching. You know what I mean? So it's like that deepening of that one masterclass. I see how that's um, completely transformed your eight months, almost a year inside of the collective, which is which is so huge. Um, OK, I want to kind of switch gears a little bit. Um, Miss Saba, hello, gorgeous human. So so your Shani has been in just under a year in the collective. Saba has been in since December, but you've been in my world way before being in the collective. And so I just, you know, that I love you and adore you for so many different reasons. And so I wanted to share your big thing. One of the big things that you do in your business is help people build um, a brand, right? You're all about brand and, and what that means. And you know that I love brand too. And I love talking about brand. And I wanted, to, if you wanted to share what, like one or two pieces of advice with the community of what it actually means to build a brand or even anything that you're seeing in 2023, like what would be your go-to suggestions for people who want to build a standout brand online? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm so excited to be here. I love doing this. I'm so happy that I can start my Friday with you, Steph, and everybody else. So, oh my gosh, where do I even start? Like branding, Steph, when I first like found you, I was so intrigued because of course, like you have rainbow, like pink, like you're all over the place when it comes to like colors and branding. And I feel like a lot of people think branding is colors, like it's colors, it's logo, it's the website, which it is. And that's definitely part of branding. But for me, when I think of branding, it's all about like the feeling, it's all about the experience. It's all about like, how can you actually, like when someone lands on your profile, they read a post, they watch a video, how can they actually feel something where they just want to continue being in your world? And I remember when I first found you, Steph, at first I got triggered. I think I, I told you this when I hired you way back one-on-one. -on -one. I was like, oh, I don't know if I like her that much because she was really like out there. But then, of course, I unfollowed you. And I'm like, wait a minute. I'm still looking at her stuff. Like, what am I doing? And then, of course, I came back and I'm like, oh, I know why I feel triggered. It's because she's making me feel a certain way. And that feeling was, Saba, you need to step into like your next level of self, which was then, of course, investing into you, Steph. So with the branding, I mean, I've been doing branding for so long, even before I ever had a business, I was just sharing content on social media, sharing my story. And that's how I started to build a brand. And then I got into coaching. And I feel like back then, once again, people didn't understand like branding is feeling, it's experience, it's community. And now that I see content shifting, it's not just posting like the three steps and how to like build a brand, but it's really through experience. I'm seeing now in 2023, like it's not just products, like it's not just sell your coaching program, sell your course and people will buy because there's millions of people that are selling the exact same thing as you are. So the only difference now is like, okay, <laughs> like you actually have to really preach what you embody. And I think that's like one of the biggest things I'm seeing now in the shift with branding, with content is if you're not actually embodied to a point where like you do it behind the screen, it's not just you posting on like social media on your stories that like energy, that feeling people actually feel through the content you're posting, not just like what you say on social media. A hundred percent. And, and I think like, and, and this is why, and I know that we have a similar viewpoint of this too, of like, I've always identified as like, I love content creation, whether I have an online business or not. And so it's like, 
to help people who maybe aren't that natural, the natural content creator style, like, like I always call it, like become one with social media, like, like to how to showcase you and your energy and your lifestyle or what you're about um, through social media in a way where people can feel like, oh, that's exactly who they are. And I mean, with like reels and micro video, I think it's cool because it's so easy to take like small clips of just your lifestyle or this or that. And that can showcase in video form that feeling that you're talking about, not just, hey, here's how to build a brand step one, two, three, but like, here's the feeling of my brand and the feeling piece, like you were saying about when you found me, it was like, I unfollowed her, but I keep going back. Like we keep going back to someone, whether it's a person on social media or not, when we feel something. Right. And so I often say, you guys have probably heard me say this, like, what is, I often think about how do I want people to feel when they come to my page? And then it's like each piece of content, it's like, does that match how I want people to feel? And then you rework things. And, and that's such a big difference. So I love that so much. Um, one of the things that you also said, or that you said in the video that you made for the collective is how important community is for you and how much you love the collective community, but also just community in general. And I would love for you to maybe speak to how community is really important for you, like whether it comes to like building your network and more from a, a business perspective, but maybe also from kind of just like a, an energetic or mindset perspective of, of what it feels like to be so engaged and interact and build that community piece. Yeah, I love community, like from a business standpoint, standpoint, like strategically, of course, if you're connected with more people, then of course, more people know you. Like I've I've gone live with so many people in the collective. And of course that helps with like both of our businesses because we're getting exposed to each other's audiences. But also like entrepreneurship is really lonely. And I feel like a lot of people don't talk about that piece. Like, of course it's good to like go live, collaborate because that helps you with the business. But then also if like I, like a lot of my friends that aren't entrepreneurs, like they don't get what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was always like, I want to be around people who like get it and who understand it because the times where I feel like I'm doubting myself or like things aren't going right. And I don't know, like my friend, like she just doesn't get it. If I'm telling her like the situation that's happening in my business, like I can go to the community and I can go to the collective. And I think that's one of the main reasons why I did join. Like, of course, it's amazing. I can plug into the trainings and the master classes whenever I want, but the people in the collective, it's like, they get it and it's different. And it's not just they're building a business that's like a hobby. And it's like on the side, it's like, you can tell the difference between someone's energy. They're building something long-term. It's not just for like a few years or like a few months. Um, and also just in terms of community, like I got into my business entrepreneurship by like being around people who are already like light years ahead of me before I ever even started a business. Like I would attend events that were people were making like multi-millions. And I'm like, like, who are these people? <laughs> I was like, I felt like I was just so high off of their energy because it was a whole different mindset that they have. So even for you stuff, like when I first found you, I'm like, she's making multi-millions. And I remember I told you stuff. I'm like, she's the first, Stephanie's the first mentor I ever hired who's a female, which is so funny for me to say, because of course I'm a female coach. So it would make sense for me to hire female coaches. But I like I built my business through a very masculine way through like, you know, sales calls, a lot of structure, like you have to control the sale. And for me, when I got into Steph's world, I was like, whoa, like there's a whole different piece that I'm missing. And being around other females and of course males too, it's like there's a whole different energy that you get to see in terms of how you're building your business. And that's one thing that I saw after talking to so many people in the collective and connecting was they're building their business in their own way. And I think that's the most beautiful thing is there is no one way to do it. You learn from who you want to learn from, from staff, from other people. And then you take those bits and pieces and, and build in your own way. I love that. And I mean, 
I love too, it's like what you were just saying of like, like even in the collective, we're all in the collective and there's a commonality, but everyone in the collective is so different in terms of personality, even business model, the way that they sell, the way that they show up. And so it's like, I think it's so beneficial to collaborate with other people who are different because then it's like not only that growth of the community and audiences, but to just like collaborate different like opinions coming together or ways. And I think it's such like a healthy thing to show the coaching industry of like, hey, we're different, but we can come together and have a conversation about branding, even though we have two different viewpoints on branding, right? Or like collaborating with someone like who's more about like um, work ethic and strategy and then collaborating with someone who's more of like the energetic side. I think like it's so healthy to show those polarities um, on our platforms to, like I said, not only build that community and grow the audience, but just show how we can healthily like be about all different viewpoints, which I see this happen all the time in the collective and, and you and many people are doing like live stream things and back and forth or podcasts or whatever. And it's like, it's so cool when I see you guys do it. I'm like, oh, they're so different. That works so well for a collaboration. Like, and I just think there's, there's so much power in that. So I love that you really model that not only for your own business, but you model that in, in the collective community, which is amazing. Okay. Regina. I'm like, I feel like I just, you know, it's so fun when we bring people up is I feel like I'm the one who gets to ask questions. Usually it's people ask me questions. Now I'm like, I just get to interview everyone. And it feels so exciting for me, by the way. So Regina, you've been in the collective for two years. We have a whole story and I feel like we can save that for a little bit later. But what I wanted to just kind of dive in um, with for you, with the, for the community and the audience is you have a very incredible background in business outside of the coaching space, outside of the online space, since you have incredible experience and success there. And I would love for maybe you to speak on how that has supported you as you came into the online space to build here, but also anything that maybe you've noticed, and I know you like to talk about this kind of stuff, like what you've noticed that that maybe people are lacking in the online space when it comes to the strategy or the work ethic. You know, um, first of all, thank you for having me here. You know how, I, how much I love you. Um, you know, my background, just really quickly, I have spent almost two decades reorganizing uh, failing multi-million dollar companies, a lot of them through bankruptcy. So there's a lot of structure, a lot of, you know, federal court system. So like, there is no game playing. Like you can't just build it. Like you can't restructure an energetics. Like there is like it's game time. You know, people are like millions in debt. People are losing their jobs. So a lot of structure, a lot of uh, uh, just real business stuff, like real problems. I think the coaching space has no idea what real problems look like when it comes to, you know, so like real life problems. And when I came into the online space, well, the first thing that threw me off is that, especially we were going through this uh, wave of just energetics. And my nervous system went into shock. I was like, wait a minute. It's like, nobody wants to work. Like, how am I even going to do this? When I, 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 business needs a structure. Business needs an infrastructure, right? You need to love to be the daily boring stuff. You need to say the same things a million times over again to people. Like, how am I even going to do this? And then I realized that my edge, my advantage is there is people like me and like you that are like, well, energy is fantastic, but that's just one side of the coin. You need like, just like money, for example, unless currency is printed on both sides of it, it's just a piece of paper. It's useless. It's wasteless. Like a hundred dollar bill is only as good as both sides of it are printed on. And I'm like, people are like trying to facilitate a business with one side, like energetics and mindset. And at first it threw me off, but then I realized this is actually giving me an edge. There is, this is a fantastic industry with so much potential and so much more women would be making so much more money. If they just understood they have the one side of the, of the coin, they need the other one. Yeah. And there were women who have done this long enough who said, wait a minute, clearly taking 20 bats a day isn't really monetizing. Maybe I should add a few strategies to the, to the game plan. Yeah. And that became my client. So initially it really threw me off. It caused me a lot of chaos. I'm also like, look, I'm in my 40s, right? So it's not, I'm kind of used to certain things. I have two grown kids that are, so I'm used to certain things. So it really threw me off my game at first. And it really, it stopped me from monetizing. Like, who, I couldn't find my place here because mm -hmm. everybody just wanted things to be so easy. And I'm like, well, real life is not easy. You know, real business is not easy, especially when you're working with 
with people. People are people. People are hard by nature. Everybody's got their stuff, especially if you're coaching them. They bring their whole baggage to your table and you got to deal like you have to unpack, you have to sort of. And it threw me off my game for a long time. And then I was like, I'm going to monetize my edge. I'm going to monetize 20 years of sweat, blood and tears into really not just building businesses, but taking a company from 10 million in debt back to 10 million annually. That That's a whole show. Mm-hmm. So um, I'm grateful for the experience because it gave me so much also content. It gave me right. so much evidence. It gave me so much to, to, to work with for myself and my clients. So that was, that's kind of where I'm at. No. And I love that. And it's like, we, it's like everyone needs to play on that edge. Like that edge is your magic and people need that. And and so it's like, so interesting too. And, and you know, my journey of this is like, I'm, I believe in work ethic and consistency and the strategy and the foundations. And like you said, of like, there's going to be repetition and all of that stuff. And I oftentimes have even felt my, um, found myself like, oh, don't say that because people don't like that. Or like, don't be, don't be too much about that because no one's going to buy into it. I think in the video that you made, you said something like you sell what's not easy to sell sometimes because people want the fluffy, but it's like, you have to be the real deal. And sometimes it's hard to just present that when the industry sometimes is a little bit the opposite, but I love that so much about your angle. And, you know, you're an amazing example of that balance of like structure foundation, but also you are purely in tune with intuition and feeling and energetics and and connection. And so there is a balance. And I think like the more that we show people the balance, the the healthier it is um, Mm -hmm. for everybody. Amazing. I'm just going to read some comments coming up on the group um, or inside the Facebook. Sarah says, for me, the conversations, oh, I missed it. Um, The collaborations with collective members, it's been almost an instant click because what you're talking about here. Yes, that's what I was gonna say, going back to the community thing is when, when we are just in a community of people who you know are doing something similar that you're doing, it's like right away, there's almost like you don't need a phase to get to know each other. You're like, okay, we're already on the same page. Like we get it. And, and I see that happen all the time in the collective or just within communities of people um, that you have something in common with. This is amazing. Um, okay. So this is so good. So something for context for everyone watching that we've been doing in the festival, which by the way, it's only been, we're on day three and it feels like we've been doing the festival for so much longer in a good way. And I'm like, I don't know about you guys, but I've been thinking the last three days, the collective or the festival is like one of my favorite things I've done yet. I'm so glad that we are doing the festival and it's just the, the connection, the community, everything has, has been like taken an up level since. So this is our community right here. And Regina, I, you're someone, and I said this in the, on the collective call yesterday, and it's something that I talk about a lot is like these real deep, like mentorship relationships where it's not just like, let's, you know, find a course and, and buy a thing. It's like, there's this soul connection. And I said it yesterday. I think Lynn is watching us in the group as well to Lynn when, when she, we, we recognized her of like, I feel a connection. Like we were meant to be in each other's lives. Like you are meant to be in my life and I was meant to be in in your life. And there's been times in our journey, you know, where you've sent me messages out of the blue. And I'm like, I, I really needed that message today. Like you have no idea, you know? And so it's to have you in the space and the way that you've always just love the space, whether it's in the collective or, or other spaces in my world and the way that you just show up and, and respect within the community, but how you build and, and lead your, your own life and your business, like that does not go unrecognized in my world. Like we're so grateful that you're in the spaces and you're such a, a, a light inside of our community and inside of your community as well. And we really wanted to make sure that you felt that and you see that and you don't ever forget that because you're a light for us. You're a light for me. And we just love you so much. So I don't know if there's anything that you want to share off of that. You can go ahead and share, but I'm just really so grateful. Really, really quickly. Uh, and thank you for the beautiful words. It's definitely a deep God connection. You've sent messages to me out of the blue. It's like, oh my God, this couldn't be more perfect. Like crying there, you know, as the message coming in. Um, I remember uh, one of the things that I kind of caught you on, it was what, maybe like a free masterclass right before I invested was when you said, 
uh, one of my fears is that somebody older is not going to hire me. They're not going to think I'm going to, I don't know why it's stuck with me. And I remember looking at you thinking, kid, you, you have no idea. Like you're going to change my life. And like, I'm about to turn 45. So like, you're like five minutes older than my older daughter, you know, like there's, a, there's an age gap. And uh, the point is like, we judge, we, we, we make decisions for other people. Like you make decisions for older people that may not hire you. Like, and I mean, I'm sure I judge, I make decisions why people would hire me and not hire me. And talk about energetics, right? And here I am, and you're serving a community older than you. I mean, a lot of us are, you know, by age, there's there's age, age gaps. And I, that moment stuck with me. And I never forget, and for some reason, never forget that. And uh, yeah, I knew that moment, like, kid, you have, you're going to change my life. <laughs> it was beautiful. I love this. Well, you know, it's it's so interesting, because I remember going through that phase where I had that fear, that thought of like, no one's going to take me seriously, right? I'm the, with the, the pink bubbles or the balloons and this and that, whatever. But like you're someone and, and how I describe many of these relationships is like having you in my space since the earlier days has felt like given me peace. You know what I mean? Like you are in my space, you believe in, you know what I mean? And having you in the, in my space since the beginning through those fears and doubts or whatever, we can laugh about it now, but that was very real for me. Mm -hmm. And so when I say like, you were meant to be in my life as much as I was meant to be in yours, that's what I mean. Cause it's like certain things. It's like you have, seeing your name on the live or you in the group or you in the training. It's like that, that sense of like, she's really been there since the beginning. And that means everything to me. So Thank I you. love you so much. Thank you. And like, we just want to celebrate you to the rooftops because you are just an amazing part of our community. So last thing I just want to add to that. I think there's a difference between being um, young and being immature. Yes. You're young, but you are not immature. Those are two very different yeah. things. <laughs> I love you. That's it. Back to you. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, I love this so much. So I think we're just going to have a couple minutes of kind of fun. Um, and, it, you know, the community knows me. You guys know me. It's so funny because throughout our time, the few months now doing the industry last year, we had a lot of collective members come on and we would have conversations or whatever. And I never I'm the kind of person to be like, can you give me a testimonial of the collective? Like that's never been the thing, but we've been, we've like collected so many clips of people just like talking about the collective and it, it's so funny, but what I'm getting at is what comes to mind if I say, if someone is on the fence of joining the collective, what would you say to them? And maybe we can have like a fire round of everyone just kind of saying what you would say if someone on the, the fence was on the fence right now, but joining the collective. Or maybe it's like almost like what would maybe it's like your shiny what what did you need to hear but but you you bought so quickly but maybe you have some good good advice. I would say if you feel a full body yes but you're shit scared still do it because it will be the right choice for you. But I also read a post from you where you said that you don't always have to feel a full body yes, which I also think is true. So yeah, yeah. If you want to, <laughs> it's just like, like it. if you feel a yes, don't listen to the to the uh, thoughts. Don't don't really like um, go with your insecurities. Just go with the yes because there's a deep knowing in you that that really knows what you have to do. And also, if you join, you won't regret it. Like <laughs> it's yeah, it's it's uh, when you when you're in the collective. And you have access to so many trainings and access to so many golden nuggets. And it's also like some trainings of our strategic, some trainings just have golden nuggets that really like change everything. Like they have amazing ripples for you. It's like hearing one thing and 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 like the ripples are, are just like everything changes suddenly. And I experienced a lot of those moments that I'm listening. And sometimes I'm just driving. It's not even that I have to, that I always sit with it, but I'm, I'm just driving and I'm listening and I'm like, holy freaking shit. Like those kind of golden nuggets will fall in your lap. So I would say, just do it. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Okay. Does someone else have something to share? Yeah. You know, I feel so awkward asking this question, you know, I'm like this, I hate asking it. No, you should ask with pride. It's, it's a phenomenal community. You know, I look at uh, what are you, are you saving time? Or are you are you wasting time? Or are you saving money? That's number one. So like before I invest in anything, 
if somebody has the information that I have, do I want to invest another six, 12 months trying to hunt for the information? Or can I, we talk about collapsing time around money. Nobody talks about collapsing time around information. You've yeah. got somebody, which is you collective, we're talking about, who has all of the pieces, the energetics, the mindset, the organic side of the coin, the mechanical, the structure, being a good client, being a good leader, how to sell your offers, how to, like, you're a one-stop shop. Yeah. So for anybody who's like, if you're scrolling social media, you think you're going to figure out how to run your business through doing, like you're not, I'm just, I can tell you right now. So the collective, the fact that it's a one-stop shop and the fact that it's, it's a community and the fact that it's led by somebody who is actually in for the long haul, like you're not going to check, take the money on check out tomorrow. Um, all, like all of the pieces are at play. Like it's a cohesive, uh, it, it fits, everything fits. So I think yeah. collective is, um, I think if you want to go fast, collective is it because you've got all of the pieces in one place. You don't have to run from person to person to person. So that's, and again, like I said, look at, am I saving money or am I wasting time? Because I think there needs to be a conversation um, around collapsing time around information. How fast do you want to go? And smart business is paying somebody who knows what you don't know to get you there faster. I mean, that's really how business works. I, I love that. And, you know, one of the things too, is I think people are, I don't highlight as much as I should, but when people join and they dive right into that playlist of just like stuff that's there, especially people who haven't dove into my world before, it'll be like an hour after someone joins and they're like, oh, I just listened to this thing and now I'm changing this. Right. And so it's like, to your point, it's like that information that person wouldn't have had for weeks or months, the more that you're not diving into it or thinking about it, it takes one yes, one 30 minute, 10 minute, an hour long training that could actually shift something. Someone who joined the collective on Tuesday night, it was literally an hour later. She wrote like, I've already changed my Instagram strategy for tomorrow. And I was like, oh, wow. Like, right. It's such a small thing, but it's such a big thing. So I love that you brought that up. Collapse time around information. So big. Okay. Yes. Spotlight is on you, Saba. Yes. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I have so much to say about the collective. I want to, I want to approach it a little bit differently because of course people joining the collective, like you get strategy, like you get everything that you need to make like multi-millions. And of course people joining, like their goal of course is to make more money in their business. But I feel like one thing that really helped me was becoming the person who's actually able to implement it and like build that business. And I feel like something like you don't get that like anywhere at all whatsoever. Like a lot of the information, of course, and like the master class, like the group programs, like I'll implement right away and I'll get results. Like that's amazing. But for me, it's really been about like the long term being that person who can like hold it, who can build it, who can sustain it. And like that's just not something that you get from like a one month program. And like that's not something that you get from like a one time master class. And like just like what I said earlier, like I can plug in whenever I want to. Like Steph, like you run so many programs. I'm like, there's so much, like I can't always keep up with all of them. But I think that's the amazing part because when I do want to plug in, I'm like, oh, it's there, right? It's like, I have you in my back pocket. I could go to the resources. But I think that was like the main thing, like me looking back at who I was like a year ago or before I even met you, I'm like completely different person. Like if I didn't run into you stuff, I'm like, I would still be building my business where it felt like really heavy and I like didn't even want to run my business anymore. So I think it's really about you becoming like the person who's actually able to do it. And I think that's something that just like priceless. Uh, I love and I thank you so much for sharing that from that angle because you know I often say like yes, the collective is all the programs and all the classes, but it's like when you do it all together in a year period, at, you know, at least a year and beyond, that's the that's how you actually become someone who can hold and, and build something long term because it's not just like learn that one piece and then it's on to the next it's like we're constantly integrating all of the different pieces and so it's like you know and it is a lot of things that we do in the collective but it's like even if you don't keep up with it then you can listen to it all when, when you're ready but it's like that constant accountability of all the different pieces together and it's like how to be the CEO, the content creator, the salesperson, the, the coach, all of these different pieces at the same time, because the truth is that's what we have to learn to do is be all of these things at the same time and keep refining it and get better at it as we're growing in all these different ways. And that's one of the things too, that it's like, 
it, it happens naturally when you're in the collective because it's just I present each new topic and you're like, okay, this is what we're mastering. So it's kind of just keeping yourself accountable with becoming that and then refining all the pieces. So I yeah. love this so much. You guys are the best. <laughs> Cassandra in the comments said, I joined the collective a few days ago and I can totally relate to hearing the golden nuggets and being like mind blown emoji. I love that. Well, I'm so, this is my favorite. This was so fun. Like you guys truly, I'm so grateful that you guys joined me today and just shared your story. And I really also want to say like to you guys and everyone watching, I think that it's a really beautiful thing to collaborate in this kind of way. Like these ladies are all in the collective, but I, I see them as power meets power kind of energy and for them to come up onto a space and talk about their experience in someone else's container, even though they all have their own containers. Like, I just think the whole dynamic of this is really beautiful for me. And I know for you guys and for us to just model to the community, because this, this, these kinds of relationships in the coaching space is really beautiful to be able to just share and celebrate each other and to be testimonies for each other as clients, as peers, as coaches, as mentors. And this, this whole dynamic today really means the world to me. So thank you guys for being here and everyone watching. Thank you guys for being here. I hope that you made some awesome connections. You got some inside scoop of the collective in my world and you got to meet these fabulous ladies. Have a fabulous rest of your day. I love you and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye guys.